Welcome back everybody today. It's gonna to be a little bit dark and they don't really have much signage, but we are at Galaxy Skateland in West Virginia. This is my first West Virginia rink, so that's kind of exciting. But as always, thank you to the members, subscribers, everybody who tunes in every single week to make this channel possible. You can become a member. I also have a Patreon if you wanna help support more. Uh, but with all that out of the way, you know we're gonna check out the floor, the music, the skaters, Everything that makes a good rink a good rink, what, what types of skates they have for rent, all that stuff, we'll cover it. It might be a short video today, I'm kind of tired, and but yeah, who knows, we'll see. Uh, either way, let's go check it out. Alrighty, everybody, that was Galaxy Skateland in West Virginia. What town are we in? Martinsburg, West Virginia. What can I say? It was a pretty fun rink overall. They had some good amenities. They had inlines and quad skates for rent, so that's always nice to see. The floor was a good size. It was a little slippery, so that was kind of a letdown. Didn't have a DJ, didn't have like a great music selection, but I had headphones, so it wasn't that big of a deal. They had walls all around the rink, which I like to see. I came on a Tuesday, which is a very awkward night to come skating, but I was in the area, so it just kind of happened that way. It was a different vibe, not really expecting a lot on a Tuesday, so. But overall, I think the rink was pretty fun. I can have fun just about anywhere. It doesn't really matter to me. As long as it's a good sized floor and it's skatable, uh, I'm gonna find a way to have a good time. You're not really gonna find the, the greatest talent of skaters here. Maybe on a weekend night, it might be a little bit different, but overall, you know, you, you get what you get when you come to one of these small rinks like that. I will say the owners were really nice, very friendly, very helpful. They had a huge playground section for the kids, normal snack bar, uh, a lot of different arcade games. One thing that was really cool is they had this wheel cleaner thing. I forgot what the name of it was, but here's a video of it. And uh, sadly, it was not working. I did ask if I could use it and it was not working, but wow, it just looks so retro, it looks so old. I've never seen anything like that at any rink, so that's kind of cool. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this rink review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all the members, subscribers, everybody who tunes in every single week. I appreciate you guys so much. And go check out the playlist in the description. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Don't forget to ring that notification bell.